What's up you guys, this is Cole with Apex Hunt. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard today. Um, about a week ago I posted a picture on Instagram uh, of my gear list that I'm getting ready to go on my first actual uh, backcountry archery mule deer hunt. So I'm super excited for it. Um, but one thing that happened is I got a lot of questions about the gear that I use and uh, what exactly are my top items, uh, what are my go-to's, what do I have every single year. So today I wanted to post just a quick video and go over a few of those things with you today. Um, one thing that I want to start out doing is kind of going over my most essential items. What are my most have items? Uh, and then I'll go kind of through the most, uh, I guess, comfortable items for me. So definitely I'd say my top two go-to items um, that I must have for an archery mule deer hunt um, is first my range finder. I have the Vortex Ranger, I believe it's a 1800, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it's a great range finder. I mean it picks up very, very good um, in low light settings and so I always have that. Uh, I have the Badlands Bino X case. Um, I've been a fan of it, I've carried it the last two or three years. But uh, this year I'm actually going to be switching to the Kuyu Pro um, Bino Harness. Uh, the one thing that I really don't like about this Bino Harness is when you open it and you pull your binos out, um, they're hard to detach. So if you're just driving down the road glassing in your truck, um, I mean you have to keep pulling them out every single time that you want to glass something up. So it's kind of a pain in the butt where the Kuyu ones just have a uh, a latch that you can unlatch and pull them off completely free so um, I'm actually switching to those I think they sh hopefully they should be in this week um, which leads me to my next item I have the Vortex Viper HD binos um, these things have been awesome they're definitely an investment um, but I bought them a few years ago and I will say that um, the amount of animals that I've seen uh, in the time that I've had my binos since the time before when I just had my regular um, Nikons uh, has doubled if not tripled so um, if you want to find animals in the field I would definitely say go out and get you a nice pair of binos so I love the uh, HDs either Vipers or Razors so um, but like I said it's definitely investment but if you save up you should be able to uh, to do that no problem this is probably one of my most favorite items that I carry it's my tripod um, it collapses down. I love the swivel on this thing. It actually has a swivel that comes out and allows it to go up and so you can lock that into place. Um, the thing that I like it most for is probably glassing um, but I'll do a lot of filming just off of the tripod here. It's actually what I'm going to be using mostly today. So it's got collapsible legs and uh, like I said that swivel you just can't beat that. So super nice just fits right on the side of my backpack and uh, allows me to uh, store a lot more room. This tripod I believe it's the Vanguard VO uh, 235 AP. I don't know what all that stuff stands for but uh, it's an excellent tripod. I think I picked it up on sale um, for under a hundred bucks so uh, keep your eyes posted. They sell them at Sportsman's. Um, you can also find them anywhere online. So. One of the last things that I use for my optics is just a quick attachment. Um, this attachment can be used for your binos. Uh, basically screws into the end so you can set it on a tripod. Um, glassing with a tripod has helped me be able to find animals, um, especially mule deer. They are hard to find and so um, when I'm setting up my tripod and glassing, um, it's definitely a better way to find animals. So I think it was 20 bucks on Amazon, just a, just a cheap, cheap deal there. So screws in the end and uh, just sets right on your tripod. I'd say two more of my most essential items that I definitely would not uh, leave home without again um, are my flashlights. I have a headlamp as well as just a flashlight by itself. Uh, last year I was on an elk hunt, ended up killing a bull just before dark and uh, I didn't, I forgot my headlamp which was a bad bad mistake, left it in the truck. So all I had was my flashlight but uh, um, it ended up, I had to hold it within my teeth while I was quartering out the elk um, and it ended up going dead and so I didn't have any spare batteries. But that was a huge lesson for me, uh, packing a bull out in the pitch black um, with only the moon to back you up for light. So um, definitely an experience that I don't want to go through again. One thing that I'm super excited to try out this year um, is the merino wool 
a base layering system. I've never used it before. It's actually one of the reasons that I've switched to Kuyu. Um, so this is one of their ultra merino wool. I believe it's like a 145 uh, zip top. And I love this thing. Um, it, it allows you to keep the sun off of your neck with this little hood that it's got. Um, merino wool is basically a wool that allows you to stay cool during a hot day, but it also allows the, the heat to stay within you. It's almost like an insulation layer. I mean, it bundles up into just about nothing. And so um, this is definitely a great shirt that I, I look forward to using this year. One other merino wool base layer that I, I'm kind of excited about is I found these on uh, Black Ovis. They were definitely cheaper than uh, a lot of the other merino wool briefs that I see. Um, and so to use these kind of to just keep your stench down, if you're out in the woods for a week long without a shower, um, it can definitely uh, make you stink. And so this merino wool is supposed to help prevent that. And I'm actually excited to see how it does. The last essential item that I really love um, is my Kuyu Icon Pro 3200. Um, it's the perfect pack for me as far as 3200 uh, cubic inches within. Uh, it's it does everything that I could need and it's able to store anything that I want. Um, one thing that I always wanted was a, was a pack frame that I could slip meat into. And that's exactly what this pack does. It actually comes apart and I'll have to show you guys this in another video sometime, but um, it comes apart and it lets you be able to stuff the meat or a quarter um, in between the pack and claps it tight. And so what that does is it allows you to keep it um, up on the center of your back rather than slouching back or forward, um, which can absolutely destroy your back. So I know I've had pack outs sometimes with elk that uh, I wake up the next day just hurting. So I cannot wait to use this pack. I just got it this year, but uh, from just testing it out, um, shed hunting and, and other things, I can tell that it's, it's gonna be a great pack. So, so just a quick uh, breakdown of just kind of items that you need. Um, just common sense items. Um, definitely a, a knife to be able to uh, skin your elk or deer with. Um, me, I just have a simple outdoor edge. Got it at Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, a saw is always a nice item in the backcountry. You never know when you're going to need that. Maybe cut legs off or um, sometimes when I can't find the right uh, tendons to cut, I'll just go ahead and just uh, cut the whole thing off with my saw. Um, definitely a sharpener. I used to just go out and sharpen my knife and just hope that it would last the whole time, but since I just bought a simple uh, handheld sharpener, it's been uh, the world of difference to me. So um, another item definitely that you'll need is uh, Alaska game bags or just game bags if regular. Um, Alaska game bags are probably not the best kind of game bags that you can find out there, but um, they're definitely a good price and I've never had a problem with them. So definitely durable and strong uh, for definitely a good price so uh, where it's hot like this you want to get them in the game bag and get them cooled down uh, your quarters as fast as you can um, and that'll help uh, prevent any damage to your meat one item that I just picked up for this year was my anchor uh, battery uh, power bank it's actually super cool it's got uh, four bars to tell you kind of what percentage it's at it's supposed to be able to charge your phone about eight times I believe so um, I'm going to be using that to not only charge my phone to use my Onyx maps, but uh, also to charge my camera batteries to keep it going so I can keep filming. But definitely a cool item. Um, Anchor, I bought, just got it off anchor.com, so I would definitely check that out. The best thing that a person can invest in is a wind detector. Um, you're never going to be able to kill an animal if you're upwind from them. Um, so definitely check and win can be one of the best things that you could ever do. Um, so definitely go and invest in uh, just a cheap wind detector. You can get them at Sportsman's. I even think Walmart might sell them. So this is a dead down wind brand. It's been pretty good for me. Uh, stores a lot. So another thing I use is just dead down wind um, deodorant. The regular deodorant that I use can be uh, pretty smelly. I try to smell good. So uh, having dead down wind. Um, anti-deodorant um, unscented is definitely the way to go there one thing that I'll always have on me is a little bit of electrical tape um, definitely tape your tag on the antlers um, and you can also use electrical tape for just about anything so um, that's one one essential item that I carry um, duct tape is another uh, duct tape can be used for a lot of things um, definitely blisters and other things like that so I'll always have duct tape on me 
I like to carry some kind of wipes. Um, definitely clean your face or your body. Uh, these are called Dude Shower Wipes. Never used them before, just picked them up, so I'm kind of excited. After about two days in the back country, you can definitely uh, feel pretty dirty. So it's nice to just uh, clean off a little bit and have something to clean up. I'm definitely bring some kind of uh, fire starter. I've got fireproof, uh, stormproof matches here. So uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, definitely will do the trick to start a fire for you. Uh, mountain houses, just got two of them here. Hope to get some more. I've got no shame in showing this to you guys. Um, Anti-monkey butt powder. Um, definitely, definitely a must when you go on a hunt. So As far as water goes, um, I just carry this uh, Camelback. I believe it's a three liter um, Camelback. Basically, um, it's been pretty good. I've noticed though, when I do have a Camelback or something attached to just a straw, I do drink more than I'm supposed to. So I'll always start out with a Camelback, but I'll also bring um, basically just a Nalgene water bottle or something to be able to uh, act as a backup. One item that I really love um, is my leg holster. Um, really cheap, I actually bought it at the Army Surplus store. Um, and it's kind of big and bulky and a little heavy. But honestly, last year, like I said, when I killed the elk um, in the dark and I was back in the canyon all by myself, um, it was nice to just have the satisfaction to know that I had some form of protection on me. So I always carry my leg holster on my leg as well as my pistol. Um, this is just a Springfield 45. Um, it's been awesome and uh, it'll definitely do the trick if anything wants to come my way. Another must have um, in the back country is a hammock. Uh, ever since I invested in one, I've loved this thing. Uh, the brand is just Hobo Hammocks. I found them on the internet. Um, I believe they do something with uh, homeless people. Every hammock bought is a meal for the homeless, so pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Hobo Hammocks, check them out. Um, they've been awesome, uh, awesome little hammocks. So um, basically when you're out all day, all morning long um, and the, the hot weather comes around deer bed, um, we also need time to bed. So. Uh, hammock is great to set up in the trees, um, get some shade, and uh, get ready for that night. Uh, trekking poles. A lot of people, I used to think, I used to look at people with trekking poles and I used to say, um, man, those guys are wimps. Why are they using trekking poles? But um, I definitely have loved every second of using these. So um, honestly, I don't really use them much when I'm hunting, hunting, um, but on like something like a pack out, uh, they can be the make the world of difference for you. I think last but not least, just as far as like clothing goes, um, I wear the Kuyu attack pants. Um, something, like I said, new. I'm trying out Kuyu this year, uh, seeing how it goes. I've really been impressed up to this point. So excited for the merino wool as well as the attack pants. And I have the guide uh, DCS jacket. So super excited for both of those items. And as far as boots, I've ran these boots the last three or four years, and I've loved them. I mean, there's some bad reviews on them. People have said bad things about them, but honestly, um, I just got a new pair last year for Christmas. Um, my old boots had worn down. There was no more traction on them, but um, after three or four years, that's definitely what could happen to them. So if these boots last me three or four more years, I will be a happy man, but they are Irish Setter uh, Vapor Treks. So I'm just excited to run them again and uh, see how they work. So never had a blister while I've worn them. I guess I've never walk, walked far enough. I know I've showed you a lot of gear today, um, but one of the things that I cannot stress most is it's not about the gear that you have. It's not about uh, the most nice gear that you can find and the most nice gear that you can buy. It took me years to accumulate all this gear that I have and uh, saved up lots of money and lots of time for it. So um, definitely start one by one, adding up what you guys want, but most importantly, don't ever forget um, the tag and the weapon, the two most important things to uh, get the job done. All right, folks, I think that is all my gear that I'm taking with me. So, of course, I'll be adding just a few more things, um, probably just a few more essential items. But for the most part, that's the big uh, bulk gear that I'll be bringing with me. So um, I'm excited. It's Saturday today. I'll leave here in about a week, but I'm excited. Like I said, this will be my first time uh, archery mule deer hunting. So uh, excited to see what, what, it, what it brings. But... Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the gear that I'm going to be using, just feel free to shoot me a message, a DM, or um, even just a text would be awesome. So I uh, appreciate it, and we'll talk to you guys later.